Hey everyone, welcome to another Physics in the Flesh episode on dynamics. This one involves a scale in an elevator. A person stands on a bathroom scale in a motionless elevator. When the elevator begins to move, the scale briefly reads only 0.85 of the person's regular weight. Calculate the acceleration of the elevator and find the direction of acceleration. So the first thing I would suggest with these types of problems is draw a free body diagram. That way you look at all the forces acting on the person and this then allows you to go into F net equals MA, Newton's second law. Okay, so your free body diagram should look something like this. You've got a person who has, of course, the force of gravity acting on them okay, due to the Earth, and there's a normal force. Remember, normal force is due to Newton's third law, action-reaction. The action would be the force of gravity acting down on the scale, so therefore the scale, the surface, pushes back up on the person with an equal magnitude opposite and direction force. Okay, so next we're going to assign our positive direction. We're going to let up be positive. We're only dealing with uh, one dimension here, up vertical. And now that we have our free body diagram, we jump into our F net equals MA, Newton's second law. This will solve most problems that are like this. And okay, whenever you draw a free body diagram with your forces, this is usually the next step, F net equals MA. Okay, now make sure you keep those vector symbols on top of the net force and the acceleration because they are vectors. Okay, now what forces are acting on this person? Well, the normal force and the gravitational force. So Fn plus Fg equals Ma. Now the reason I put a plus is because I still have maintained those vector symbols on top of the Fs. Okay, vector addition does not imply linear addition. That means it really depends on the direction that the vector is going, or the force in this case is going. Okay, if I want to drop those vector symbols, I need to now assign um, positive or negative signs. So according to my, my directions here that I've established, up is positive, so Fn will be positive, and therefore Fg is going in the negative direction. So we drop our vector symbols and we say Fn minus Fg equals Ma. Now you can drop the symbol for the A as well. Okay, now in the question, <coughs> It tells you that the scale briefly reads only 0.85 of the person's regular weight. Now, when you stand on a scale, your weight pushes down on the scale. The scale pushes back up on you. And the amount by which it pushes back up on you is the normal force. And so that's the weight it gives you. Usually when you stand on your bathroom scale in, an, um, in your bathroom, uh, you're not accelerating up or down. So... Therefore, the normal force equals your weight or your force of gravity. But in this problem, if the elevator is accelerating up or down, this value is going to change. So in this case, it's only 0.85 of the person's regular weight. Now, remember, weight <coughs> is the force of gravity. It's a vector quantity. And not to mention, make this note as well, the elevator scale, or even any scale to be correct, uh, measures normal force not force of gravity. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to replace this Fn with 0.85 mg because that is, after all, what Fg is equal to, mg. Okay, so 0.85 mg minus mg equals ma. So that worked out nice because we weren't given mass in the problem, so that nicely cancels out because it is in every single term. So now I've got the acceleration on the right. I'm just going to go ahead and bring that to the left and bring the other two pieces to the right, just so this looks a bit cleaner. Generally speaking, whatever you're solving for is on the on the left, although it's not a huge deal. Okay, 0.85g minus g. So what we can do is uh, factor out the g. So you get g 0.85 minus 1, which is point, well, actually, that should be a minus now, point. 1.5 minus g, or minus 0.15 g. Now, we know g. g is 9.8 meters per second squared. So plug that in. When you calculate this expression out, you're going to get a is equal to minus 1.47 meters per second squared. Now, just to be uh, accurate to the problem, the scale only reads to an accuracy of two sig figs. Therefore, our final answer must only have two sig figs, so we're actually going to round this to minus 1.5 meters per second squared. Okay, so therefore, that's the final answer. Therefore, the elevator 
<clears throat> must be accelerating. See the negative? Because positive is defined as up, therefore the elevator is going down. So therefore the elevator must be accelerating down at 1.5 meters per second squared. And that's it, guys. So I know elevator problems usually scare people when they see them. Uh, they did scare me too in the beginning, but once you get used to the way of solving them, and that is that the scale measures normal force, set your positive direction, do your free body diagram, and then jump into F not equals MA, the rest sort of falls into place. Okay, so guys, if you have questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to Physics in the Flush so you never miss a video from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.